Would you like to turn your pastel and charcoal pencils from this into this? In this clip, I will share with you the tools that I use so that my pastel and charcoal pencils are ready for when I am producing my pencil work and also the mistakes that I have learnt along the way. So I just want to start by explaining the shocking state of these pencils. This is because over the years I have really tried to persevere with sharpening the charcoal and the pastel pencils with a craft knife and it just hasn't worked. I know that there will probably be people in the comments saying, oh, it's because you haven't used a sharp enough blade or you haven't used the right blade and you should try this blade. I have tried everything. I've tried a craft knife, I've tried a Stanley knife, I've tried everything and it just doesn't work. It may be that I don't have a strong enough pressure, I don't know, but I've really tried and it just hasn't worked for me. So this is why these two other methods have worked best for me when sharpening my pastel and charcoal pencil. The first sharpener I'm going to show you is the Derwent Manual Helical Sharpener. This is the sharpener that I use for my harder pencils. So say for example my Polychromos because it gets the pencils to a really sharp point. So I use this for the pastel pencils, say for example the Derwent pastel pencils because these ones are a little bit harder than the Faber-Castell pastel pit pencils and I know that they're going to stay to a fine point. If you use the softer pastel pencils then what tends to happen is they will break into the barrel of the pencil sharpener which isn't an issue because you can take it apart but it becomes a bit of a hassle so I would suggest you can just use your judgment on this one. What often happens also is that over time the pastel pencils become broken inside so you will get an idea of the, if that happens and if they become broken inside then there's not a great deal you can do really even cutting them with a craft knife isn't going to help they're just broken and that's just the way it is but yeah they get them to a really fine point and this is excellent for doing detailed work the second sharpener i'm going to talk about is the derwent pastel sharpener this is a really good one to use if your pastel pencils are a softer type of pencil or if your charcoal pencil is a softer type of charcoal pencil so this one's been designed to create a softer point which means that you've got less chance of breakage if you've got a longer point then obviously there's more chance of breakage and this is ideal for this purpose if you would like to find out information about where you can find the products used in today's clip including where you can find the pencil sharpeners then click on the description below You'll also find information about where you can buy my artwork, including my Redbubble and my websites. And if you would like to improve your soft pastel techniques, click on the playlist above. If you would like to improve your colour pencil techniques, click on the playlist below. And finally, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to be notified of future content like this.